Hi all, welcome to SI Cloud Trainings. My name is Shalini Nerilla. Let's get started with Delbumi Atomsphere Basic Training Day 10 session. The agenda plan for today is we'll discuss about database to Salesforce upset action. With an example, we'll see cross reference table, default values in map, simple Java scripting. And we'll then see how we call a stored procedure in database operation. We'll then discuss best design practices. Okay. So let's start. So in our last class, we have seen connector call to insert the data if it is not present and to update if the record already exists. Right? But also Salesforce and Bumi provides as a provision with, where we can either insert or update using upset action. Okay? So upset action is a convenient way to do common insert new or update existing integration. So in our last class for connector call, we had used the different profiles and different operations right in order and we can now avoid all of them using upset action right so let's go to Pumi and now create a folder date 10 right so we have created folder date 10 and now Let's create a component. So we'll call this as db2sf absurd. Okay. So let's say no data. And take your source database. And get action. Select your connection and create an operation here. Account database operation, create your profile and import your profile. So now select SF underscore account. Say next. So select all the fields here, say next, finish, right? So this is done. Now let's configure our target. So I'll take Salesforce here and say send action. Choose your connection and operation account absurd. And say import. Say next. Select your action upset. And next. So now just say next. And now observe here there is something called external ID. Right? So this external ID is used as reference by Salesforce to determine if the record exists or no. So if you see here, we do not have any external IDs. In order to use this feature, we need to customize the account Salesforce object to have at least one field as the external ID. Also, objects can have multiple external IDs defined. In that case, we will go and select which external ID to choose. Right? So now, let's go to Salesforce and let's create one external ID. So if you go here, if you see, there's something called edit object here. So just go to the edit object here. So edit object and you can go into fields and relationships. Fields and relationships. So it lists out all the fields in account object for you. Right now I can go and create one new. You can either create a new one, new custom object or make an existing object uh, or field as the external ID. 
So let me select as text and just say next. So give the label as account text and ID and field as 50. So description just give this as this is the external ID. Then you can check these options if required. Is it required? External ID. So there's this sets the unique record identifier from external system. So you can go and check this external ID. Okay. And say next. Next. So this is created. Okay. Now if I see the list here, fields list, you'll see account external ID and see this data type. This is marked as external ID. Now what am I going to do? Go back to platform and import the profile back again. So select absurd, say next. Say next and done. Now if you see the external ID, you can see account external ID populated here. So you can just go and select it. Say save and close. Okay, so this is done. Now use a map here. And say DB to SF absurd map. Select your database and your XML profile sales notes. So see here you can see account external ID underscore C. Right. So now to this external ID field, I will concatenate two to three fields and give it to this external ID for reference. Right. So now go here, say string concat. And I'll map all the unique fields which I which can form me a unique reference. So I'll say name and then I will say account number and then I'll say type. So three of them I'm mapping together and giving as a unique reference. And I'll say delimiter as underscore. Okay, so this is done now. Let me give them here. So say name to name, account number here, and type. So the result will go to account external ID underscore C. And now you can use Boomi suggests. So we are combining three fields and forming unique reference for Salesforce to identify whether that record exists or no. So this I can remove. Remove all the ID fields because these are something that is that is created by Salesforce. We should not give this. So owner ID created by ID last modified by ID can be removed. Right. So this is done now. Save and close. And. And just touch this use a stop shape here. This is done. Now, if you go to database here, see first load will create new records and will then first insert them. Once external ID is created, we'll do a initial load. Okay, so I have test one, test two. Into Salesforce, we have these uh, records here. So see here, we have these records. So first load we'll do insert so let's see it have to get created 